Hello everybody, and I'm AKV here back with yet another unboxing video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing yet another model that I traded for with my friend Adam in Maryland. And yes, this unboxing is outside. Without further ado, let's get started. Yay. Camera problems, am I right? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna be putting a timestamp uh, at the bottom of the screen, so if you guys want to skip to you know the actual unboxing part of the actual model, I'll put it in the description. Ay ay ay. Okay, so you have this. I have no idea what this is actually. It looks like cardboard foam, um, but. Anywho, let's get to the model. Sheesh, packing tape. I'm not breaking the model in the process of getting it out of the box. Uh, but okay. The mess that is here. This is the model in question. Uh, this is the United Airlines 787 10 Dreamliner in the Continental livery by NG Models. Uh, so without further ado, Let's uh, open the model. Um, before we do that, I almost forgot. Uh, we got to take a look at the box. So the box is, um, well, of course, it's NG models. Uh, Boeing 77 10 Dreamliner. You got the clip out of the aircraft. The old United Continental Globe. Uh, United Titles uh, Registration, which is November 17002. Uh, side, normal. Normal. Normal on the back, it just shows the clip out of the aircraft and all of the uh, liability. So, um, let's actually get to unboxing the model. Um, okay, so this, wow, uh, this is the model. Wow, this model looks really, really nice. Um, of course, it's just normal um, NG packaging. Uh, but this is the model in question. It is uh, the NG Models 77 10 Dreamliner. And of course, this is in the Continental livery. And of course, it's undamaged because um, Adam would never lie to me. Um, so, without further ado, let's get to the uh, details of the model. So, I have the details segment for this wonderful model. Uh, in the front, you have the cockpit windows, Starlines logo, uh, L1 door, front landing gear, uh, blue United titles, uh, L2 door, uh, antenna, Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. I just don't even know which one to say, so I just do Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. Uh, comment down below which one it is, because uh, I actually have no idea. Uh, anywho, you got the uh, wonderfully um, um, scaled... Um, Rolls Royce Trent engines. You've got the nice, really well done wings. Uh, L3 door. 
Uh, United uh, 77 Dream Liner titles. You got the 77 Dream Liner titles. The American flag registration, which is November 17002. And the El Fordor and the serial number. Uh, and of course, you have the old uh, Continental tail. And you have this nice, really nice flourish, actually, um, that United does on all their aircraft. Uh, I even think they, yeah, they even brought it into their new livery, which I really like about United. Uh, and of course, the model is undamaged, all the landing gear rolls, um, the wings are nicely well done, they're nice and level. And overall, this is a very, very nice model. Uh, good job, NG. So, I actually was um, going to fly, not on this exact aircraft, but I was going to fly with my family to um, Brussels in Belgium on a United 7710 Dream Honor for my home airport, which is Newark. Um, but because of the pandemic, that actually never happened, so I'm a little bit bummed about that. But overall, this is a very nice model. Um, compared to my last NG model, which I got, which was a um, Spirit AT21 that had a loose wing, this model is very well done by NG. So, if you're watching this NG, you guys did a really good job. So, my final thoughts on this model is that this model is a phenomenal model and mold done by NG. If you guys need it, I suggest picking it up now because most diecast model stores have already sold out of this model. And that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos, and comment down below what you thought of the mold, model, and my video. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.